you know, grateful for for victory. Um, as far as I'm concerned, we needed to win a game like that, just a gritty game. Uh, we kind of been smooth sailing uh, for a while. And so these type of challenges are good for us because we get to find out uh, who we are in times of uncomfort. And I thought that we still figured out a way to stick to our defensive identity. Do you kind of feel like you guys dictated uh, the tempo today a little mm -hmm. bit them? Or what did you think about that? Absolutely. I mean, I think uh, Joni's just doing a great job with what she has as far as like managing the game and shortening the game. Like we were only able to take 57 shots uh, when we take 70 to 73 shots a game. And that's a credit to how they manage the game as far as their pace uh, on the offensive end. And, and so we knew this would be a, a game where we would just have to figure it out. But I did think we were able to dictate by when we did get the rebound by, you know, pushing it out and transitioning and getting some easy baskets. How do you feel about starting off 4-0 in the play? Uh, confidence there? Uh, just incredibly grateful, you know, uh, what, three years ago? Three years ago, we went 0-16, you know? Um, and so to be in a situation when after we've lost a lottery pick and uh, five start, five seniors and we're able to start off 4-0, four, four I count it as a blessing, you know? So I'm just really happy for our team. Uh, you know, we did that in front of a lot of historic legends, living legends, Van Chancellor, Gary Blair uh, today. And, um, you know, we're just really grateful to be in the place that we're in right now, especially in the SEC when, when wins are hard to come by. Road wins, too. Yeah. Um, was there anything that you adjusted in the second uh, quarter defensively, or was it just a boost of energy that caused that 19-2 run? Well, I, I've really been intentional about trying to get uh, my bench play to be stronger. And so, you know, even in the third quarter, like I let my bench play a lot. And that's because we just need them. You know, I don't want to be a team that is, you know, six, seven deep, not in January, you know. So um, I had people in there for long bouts of time and, and, and different combinations that I don't necessarily always go to. But that's because they have to have an opportunity to grow and figure things out. And so, um, but but what I am proud of is even though we we were awful, in my opinion, uh, offensively, like in the third quarter, we still held them to the goal of 12 points or less defensively. And that's what it's going to be. We got to be able to guard. I'm not a coach. I'm not a good gambler, so I'm not going to rely on one thing uh, when it can be a chance. And that ball going in, it could be a chance. But like I said on TV, you know, you don't have to have talent to guard. And uh, so that's, that's, that's a toughness thing. That's a character thing. And so I felt I was really proud with our defensive production. So with that in mind, with your depth and your defense, we're trying to wear them down a little bit as mm -hmm. well because they did have like 24 turnovers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we we're pretty we're pretty good defensively just in the country, so that's just what we do. But we knew we had an advantage there and so um and and I felt like our team we were well conditioned to be able to, you know, play however we needed to play. So that's why every time we got to stop, we were adamant with getting out the floor and running. Sometimes so fast we didn't know what to do. <laughs> so uh, I didn't think we did a good job figuring out what to do after we ran. It was like, okay, we ran, and then and I was just sitting in the paint, and we were, like, shocked. So that's when we have to move the ball and find the best shot, and um, that's something that we're just going to continue to work on. Listen, we are a team with nine new players. Um, I'm not going to let people forget that. You know, <laughs> we, we're, we're new, too. And we lost a lottery pick who went number three in the draft. We're figuring things out. We're not playing our best basketball right now. Um, hopefully we do, you know, going into the end of March, uh, February. Can you talk about um, Angel Baker and her impact? And yeah. Maybe even when her shots weren't necessarily falling, she also had uh, six mm -hmm. rebounds and eight assists. I, I, was, I was incredibly impressed 
with Angel. I know she was frustrated. You know, Angel loves playing in this gym. Um, before us, even Wright State, when Wright State took Texas A&M in the tournament, you know, I tease her. I'm like, this is your gym, you know? And, and so she was off. But that's fine because, one, we need to learn how to win when, when our quote-unquote score is off. And then, two, six points, eight assists, five steals. Like, that's pretty solid. Anytime Angel's on the floor, you have to worry about her. And so, again, that's what I'm saying. Like, I thought this was a really good game for us to have a lot of lessons. And I'm just grateful we close out this four-game pod 4-0. Four about, I know you do the four game mm -hmm. pods. How long have you been looking at it that way? Yeah. How did you start? And well, I started last year. You know, we really wanted to go into the tournament. And so our thought was if we can win two out of every four games in four pods, that's eight, we're going to the tournament. And um, and it was a stress reliever for us. And, and it was a way for me as my video uh, coordinator brought it to me. And it was a way for me to just focus uh a little ahead, but like stay in the moment, you know? And uh, I absolutely loved it. And I remember, I think we we had a three game skid last year, but it was in two different pods and everyone acted as if the sky was falling. And that's when I brought it to the team. I said, the sky's not falling. We lost two in this pod, but we won two and we lost one, you know, and they were like relieved. So now I'm like, I'm not waiting. I'm going to just start off and tell them, we're going four games at a time, you know, and I, and I've told our team, we're, we're not going undefeated, but if they want to prove me wrong, I'm with them, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I don't think we will go undefeated, but, uh, but, but they took advantage of, of, of this. And, and listen, if you had asked me if we would go four and zero to start SEC play uh, with nine new players, I would have told you, you were crazy. So I'm a happy coach right now. <laughs> Any other questions for coach? Great. Thanks, Thanks so much. much.